Prior to the unlimited amount of resources currently available online, the pursuit of RVing can be imagined as somewhat of a catapult that launched many wide-eyed wanderers into a world they potentially knew nothing about. First-timers quickly realize that life on the road is heavily paved with a multitude of questions about everything from cost to maintenance, accessories, campgrounds, and so on. And while RVing is a practice that spans many generations, blogs and online journals didn't really generate speed until about the mid-90s. That means that nowadays, we're happily cruising through a sea of knowledge thanks to a supportive community of blogging vagabonds. Two of these self-starters studied all the ins and outs of RVing in order to hit the road wise and well-prepared, and as a result of their smooth transition, they gladly share their expertise all over social media. We're Julie and Mark Bennett from RV Love, and we've been full-time RVing since the summer of 2014, so more than five years, coming up for six years now. We just went for it. We sold our townhome, we bought an RV, hit the road, didn't even rent one first. But I think we just we just knew, we just knew we wanted to do that. And uh, yeah, we I mean, we really went in boots and old. And we just, we were kind of newlyweds. So we wanted to spend more time together. <laughs> in 300 square feet, 24 seven. While this confident couple must be used to getting all the attention, this time it's their renovated rig that's stealing the spotlight. When we were looking to buy our RV, we decided in advance that part of the contingency of buying this older RV was that we would be willing to do a major remodel on it and really bring it up to date, because it was a 20-year-old RV. It was all DIY, it was all done by ourselves, and I think that's a really satisfying part of doing the remodel as well, is knowing that we did it. We also did it while we were living in it. So while this RV's torn apart, stuff everywhere, painting, ripping up floors, busting out tile, we were still living in the RV at the time, sleeping in it, showering in it. It was a mess. <laughs> but with the help of several reliable friends, Mark and Julie managed to transform this country coach into their dream home on wheels, from top to bottom, inside and out. We touched pretty much every single element of this coach on the inside, but it wasn't just the inside. We also did a lot of upgrades on the outside as well. We made some major upgrades to our power systems, both in the solar panels and in the battery capacity and inverters, the whole power system. Well, actually, that was something really special about this remodel is that we did the whole remodel off-grid using the solar and batteries on board. We actually were running table saws, tile saws, um, sawzalls, skill saws, every type of power tool you can imagine doing this remodel, and we did all of that unplugged. And all of that hard work clearly paid off, as every detail of this modernized motorhome is nothing less than perfect, except maybe one. As far as the inside of the RV goes, we're pretty much done. I can't think of anything else. Uh, that I would want to do to change anything major anyway. Uh, really love how it works for us. From the outside, we've we've made some improvements with the systems, with the Battleborn lithium batteries, with the new inverter, the solar panels, loving our new tough top awnings. They look great, that was a huge upgrade. I think my one big thing that I would absolutely love on my wish list would be doing full exterior repaint. That's what I would love to do. I think she would look a million bucks. And as for advice on attempting a reno, these fast trackers surprisingly suggest letting up on the gas. I think one thing that I would say to anyone considering doing an RV renovation is plan on it taking longer than you might think. The fact that we did ours in under a month was a very lofty goal. We did have a team of people helping us. I would not recommend that because we were doing 16 and 20 hour days and sleep's important. So I would, I would say do it, but plan for the unexpected, plan to have a buffer in there of time. And, and that's what I would do differently, is give ourselves a little bit more time, but have no regrets at all about what we did, the choices we made, how it turned out, the systems we upgraded. I love it all. It's just, it's absolute freedom now in our life to a whole other level. And it's just enhanced our RV life in ways that I think I never could have imagined. Revamping an RV can seem like an intimidating project, but small changes can make a big difference. Putting in the care to revive a worn out space can positively influence your well being as long as you reside in your rig. Replacing old furniture, updating the kitchen, or swapping the awnings gives your coach a fresh look and its occupants a refreshed outlook on the commitment they made to live life on their terms.